a picture that is indeed worth a thousand words. Flames bellowing, darkened by the death it has divulged. Ships and ports set afire, the waters themselves ignited in flames. A fleet of military personnel traversing a war-torn countryside. Trenches seen from the skies, soaked in blood, spilled from soldiers slaughtered simply because of their race. The nation from which they hail, an evil in the flesh, approving of the destruction the decimation of villages, towns, lives, and livelihoods, tearing families apart, ammunition riddled buildings, streets gutted, and roads blackened. Yet still present, euphoria, celebration, jubilation. We hail the cast we hail the consequences of caste. The pageantry, tolling of church bells, evil smiling, saying this is good. Worship services for true believers, ticker take parades celebrating the horror monuments of confederacy, of Nazi regime, whether this is the 1940s in Berlin or the 1950s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s and beyond right here in America. It is an uncomfortable truth that evil is not one person but can be easily activated in more people than we would like to believe when the right conditions congeal. We cannot wait for the biggest to die away. We must understand that there is darkness in the hearts of ordinary people when they are corralled, motivated, and nurtured. The cheers and the votes will remain as the structure of power continues. It is harder to focus on the danger of the common will, the weakness of the human immune system, the ease with which the toxins can affect succeeding generations, because it means the enemy, the threat, is not one man, it is all of us. Lurking, in humanity itself. Part 5 The Consequence of Caste The Euphoria of Hate <laughs>